Okay, we're going to be taking a look at a linear systems of equations in two variables today. Um, and first, before I start this, I would like to take a look at the fact that um, if we were to graph our two linear equations, we've got three different scenarios here. Uh, from a graphing standpoint, if we graph them and they crossed, they would cross in one place, we would have one solution to our system. If we graph them and they turned out to be parallel, then we would have no solution. And if we graphed both lines and one turned out to be on top of the other one, I tried to indicate that with a little green highlighter on top of the first line, then we would have infinitely many solutions. Um, however, we're not going to be doing it from a graphing standpoint. We are going to use two different methods. We're going to use um, elimination and substitution. All right, so for my first example here, um, I took a pretty straightforward um, example of elimination. Um, sometimes you're going to get lucky and your two equations um, are going to work very nicely with elimination. Uh, taking a look at this, um, on elimination, obviously you're going to want to eliminate either the x variable or the y variable, so then you can solve for that and then um, find your other variable that you're missing. Uh, in this one, the way they have given us uh, this, we've got a 2y right there and we've got a negative 2y right there. If we add these equations, all right, those y's are going to fall out right away. All right, so um, like I said, this would be the easiest type of example you would see. All right, so if I add those two equations, the y's immediately are going to fall out. x and x there then will give me a 2x, and adding over here, I get an 8. All right, that's a one-step equation. I can divide both sides by 2 and x is going to equal 4. So I have found my x variable right away right there. All right, now I can choose to then plug it into either the first equation or the second equation. It really doesn't make any difference. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use that first equation. x plus 2y equals 2. All right, I'm going to take my x value and plug it in right there. So I will have a 4 plus 2y equals 2. Solve this equation now for y. Subtract um, 4 from both sides of the equation. So minus 4 minus 4. 4's will cross out there. I'll have a 2y equals a negative 2. Dividing both sides by 2 then, that's going to give me a y equals a negative 1. So I have now found y. All right, now keeping in mind um, what this solution really looks like, all right, if this was two lines that had crossed, all right, and we graphed it, it would be as an ordered pair. All right, I do have an x value, I have a y value, so the solution is the ordered pair for negative 1. Okay, and that, like I said, is the easiest type of elimination problem that you could do because right away without you doing any work, those y's fell out. All right, now taking a look at a second example here, um, also dealing with elimination. All right, this one's going to require just a little bit more work. Um, looking at my two equations here, I can see that if I just add going down, my y's, my x's are not going to fall out. All right, so what I'm going to have to choose to do is I'm going to have to choose to multiply one or both of the equations by something to either make the x's or the y's fall out. All right, so let's start over here. I'm going to be looking at this. Uh, I've got a 3x and a 9x. All right, it's going to be really, really easy, I think, if I just multiply this top equation, all right, by, um, say, negative 3. All right, I could do that. Then I would have a negative 9x and a positive 9x. That would make the... Um, x's fall out. All right, or if I wanted to just multiply by a positive number, looking at those y's, I have a negative 8y here. I've got a positive 2y there, so I wouldn't have to involve a negative at all. I could multiply that top equation just by a 4, all right, and then that would make the y's fall out. And it really doesn't make any difference which way you go there. Um, either way is going to work. Um, since I've got opposite signs on the y's, let's go ahead and multiply by 4. So I'm going to take my 3x plus 2y equals 49. I'm just rewriting this again so that we can show the steps here. And the 9x minus 8y equals negative 24. Okay, so I said I was going to choose to multiply that top equation, okay, by 4. All right, now when you do that, you're going to want to distribute that 4 to all three numbers right there. All right, so then when I do that, I'm going to have a new uh, top equation. 3 times um, 
3x times that 4 is going to give me a 12x, and then plus an 8x, and then equals 192. All right, now, because I don't need to multiply that bottom equation by anything, I'm just going to rewrite it. 9x minus 8y equals a negative 24. All right, now, as we recall, we always add the equations going down, so I'm going to do that. I've got the 8y and the negative 8y, so those two are going to cross out right away. Um, 12x and 9x there is going to give me a 21x equals uh, 192 minus 24 will give me a 168. Dividing both sides by 21, because I've got a nice little one-step equation right there, that's going to give me x equals 8. All right, so I've got my x-coordinate of my solution here. Okay, so now choosing either one of these top equations, you can plug um, 8 back in to find your y. All right, I think I will go ahead and just choose that top equation. So 3x plus 2y equals 48. All right, I will plug this back in for my x to solve. So 3 times 8 plus 2y equals 48. Uh, that's going to be a 24 plus 2y equals 48. Subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. Minus 24, minus 24. That's going to give me a 2y equals 24. Divide both sides by 2. y is going to equal 12. All right, so there, now I have found my y coordinate. All right, so I write my final answer as an ordered pair, 8, 12. Okay, so that being my final solution. All right, so that's two examples doing um, elimination method. I think I want to do one more example, but this time I want to show a substitution method. All right, lots of different ways of solving these systems of equations. All right, and, and you're going to choose the method that... Um, works the easiest with whatever you happen to have in your problem. All right, now, uh, doing a substitution method, the idea is I want to uh, solve either the top or the bottom equation for either x or y, and then plug it in or substitute it back into, like, say, that top equation right there. Okay, so you're going to look at these equations and try to figure out, well, which one would you possibly like to solve for. All right, this x right here... All right, does not have a coefficient. So ideally, I think it's going to be the simplest if we take this bottom equation and solve it for x. So that's going to be my first step. Okay, so I'm going to say, to organize our steps here a little bit, solve for x. Okay, so I'm going to take x minus 2y equals that negative 3. All right, I'm going to add 2y to both sides of the equation. So x is going to equal negative 3 plus 2y. All right, so I have now solved for x. All right, it is called substitution because now I'm going to take this and substitute it back in to that top equation. Okay, so let's just call this substitute. All right, now I'm going to, I'm substituting it in for x. So I would have 5 from that top equation. Substituting this back in, negative 3 plus 2y. All right, and then finish the equation, minus 4y equals 9. Okay, so what I did was I just substituted it in. All right, now, I now have an equation all in terms of y. I can solve this for y now. Um, just regular old solving that equation, so some distributive property right there, negative 15 plus 10y minus 4y equals 9. I can now uh, combine some like terms right there. Negative 15 plus 6y equals 9. Um, add 15 to both sides of the equation. 6y is going to equal 24. Dividing both sides by 6 now, I get y equals 4. All right, so now this time I ended up finding y first. really doesn't matter which one you find first. All right, now I'm going to choose to plug this back in. Um, I can plug it back into one of these equations. I could also plug it in right here. It really doesn't matter. I would probably choose the equation that turns out to be the easiest. And since this is already solved for x, all right, less likely to make a mistake if I plug it in right there. So my last one I'm going to put here, um, find x for our last suggestion. And I'm going to use this equation right here. So x equals a negative 3 plus 2y. I'm going to plug in this 4, 
x is equal to negative 3 plus 2 times 4. That would be 8, negative 3 plus 8. x is turning out to be 5. Okay, so and again, you want to write that final answer as an ordered pair. So the uh, solution of this system would be 5, 4. All right, so uh, three little examples, two of them showing um, of the elimination method and one showing the substitution method for solving a system of equations. Um, and if you like the video, go ahead and hit like down in the corner. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.